recall from the previous video this is what we found we found the maximizing conditions the profit maximizing conditions for firm one and for firm two so here we have them now because we are maximizing profit for the first company here we're interested in the optimal quantity that the first company should produce so we would like to write the quantity of the first company in terms of everything else so that would be equal to 100 minus 4q2 100 minus 4q2 now with the same logic let's do it for the second company over here we would like to know how much the second company would produce so the quantity of the second company in uh, optimal production would be <clears throat> would be 100 minus 4q1 one thing to keep in mind is to remember what we said in the beginning of the question that this these conditions over here they depend on each other the first firm takes into account the optimal quantity of the second and the second firm does the same they decide at the same time game theory simultaneous game how to optimize their production now because of that we can substitute one of these into the other profit function to see what the quantity should be so if we do so and by the way there's all of, of course there's a shortcut i could just tell you since these are these are symmetrical maximizing conditions we can imply that the quantities are gonna be also uh, symmetrical so equal but i want to show you the long way to see how the math works out here so uh, let's say we're going to substitute quantity 2 over here because we take into account the quantity of the second firm that's the whole logic so this is how it works out we have q1 equals to 100 minus four times q2 and q2 is the following is 100 minus four times q1 now see that we have everything in terms of q1 so we'll solve an equation with one variable meaning we will have an answer um, q1 is gonna equal to 100 minus four times 100 that's 400 minus four times minus four q1 will be plus 16 q1 now let's work out some math here let's take the numbers on one side 100 minus 400 that's minus 300 if we take it to the other side it becomes positive 300 equals to 16 q1 minus q1 so we take q1 to the other side it's becoming 15 q1 if we divide both sides by 15 we would find out that quantity one for the first company would be equal to 20 units now with the same logic let's do it for quantity two let's substitute the uh, quantity of first company into the function of the second company and see how much he's going to produce and we'll see it's going to be the same because it's the same equation it's just changing the variables so we will have the following quantity 2 equals to 100 minus 4 times quantity 1 which is this function over here 100 minus 4 q2 notice we have an equation with only one variable q2 so we can solve it we would have q2 equals to 100 minus 4 times 100 which is 400 minus 4 times minus 4 q2 is plus 16 q2 now what do we have here 100 minus 400 that's equal to minus 300 let's take it to the other side and bring q2 on the right so we have numbers on the left variables on the right we would have 300 equals to equals to 16 q2 minus q2 that's 15 q2 if we divide both sides by 15 we will find that the quantity 2 in optimal for the second firm is 300 by 15 which is 20 so 20 units for the second firm 20 units for the first firm and what did we have to find we had to find the optimal quantities let me just go to the question see if that's it um, what was it here so market equilibrium the quantities and the price okay also the price well this is the price 100 minus the sum of the quantities the price on the market now is going to be what the price on the market now is going to be a hundred minus quantity of the first plus quantity of the second well that's 20 plus 20 a hundred minus 40 that's equal to 60 so the price on the market will be 60 and each company produces 20 units so in total there is 40 units on the market and let's see what happened before as a monopolist as a monopolist when there was a single player the price was 75 and quantity was 25 only so there was less quantity a higher price but because there's now two players of course when quantity supplied goes up on the market we can sell more but we have to reduce the price and that's what this is showing hope this makes sense and we are done